Simon, he's uh, one of my oldest friends. Really, it was the other way. I was seven. He was <laughs> so smart that I was teaching the university guys like him. He is a very successful father, husband, one of the top commercial directors of the world, and now, as you uh, acknowledge and, and saw his film uh, last year, a great film director. And, of course, a great human being. Michael Caine, thank you very much. I'm, uh, I'm uh, extremely honored to receive this award. Uh, the Dallas Film International Film Festival. I, I'm, I'm trying to come here every year. I've been coming here. I th I, since it was the first edition two years ago. So I am part of it now. So thank you very much. I really feel very, very honored for this award. As I feel extremely honored to be part of the uh, community of North Texas through the uh, artists in residence in the University of North Texas. Um, you cannot imagine my friends that are here, Gretchen Batal, Jay Roach, uh, Melinda Levin, Ben Levin, Wendy Wilkins, uh, for um, being here in Herbert Hall, which is not here, but thank you very much for allowing me to be part of UNT. Uh, I've been now completely committed to the university, I am completely committed to the Dallas International Film Festival, and I am completely committed to the community of uh, North Texas, Dallas, Denton, Frisco, uh, Plano, uh, Flower Mound, uh, Highland Village, Fort Worth, I've been around. <laughs> and um, thank, thank you for, the, uh, for everyone for being here. Thank you for the Latino Cultural Center. It's, it's, uh, it's an honor to, to receive this award in this beautiful place. Thank you all of you for, for listening to Simon Bros. <laughs> <laughs> and then listening to me. I was his teacher, not... Well, I was his English teacher. That's where he got that beautiful accent. <laughs> I don't think it's something that... We, we can speak Texan, but we like this kind of sophisticated Mexican accent. <laughs> And uh, as Simone said, uh, I have an extended family. Part of me being here in, in Dallas, receiving this award, is because of my great friend and his beautiful girlfriend, Dan Carrillo and Alexis. Thank you very much, my friends. You know, you are, you are part of my family. Uh, Dan Carrillo always tweets, I'm in Disneyland with my beautiful girlfriend. I am having popcorn watching a movie with my beautiful girlfriend. So, can the beautiful girlfriend stand up so they can see the beautiful girlfriend? Uh, there's a new general consulate here in, in Dallas, Jose Carlos Puebla Vega. Eh, bienvenido a, 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 a Dallas, te lo digo como parte de UNT. ¿Dónde estás? Señor Consul. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. And uh, I want to tell a secret. A very... A secret I had never said in public. And this will put my whole career in risk. <laughs> it's not me who wrote these films. It was my wife, my beautiful daughter, my beautiful wife, Maru, Maria, my daughter, Mariana, and my son, Santiago, the ones who are responsible, really, for this award. Without them, I could not even move one inch of creativity. So, they are the real recipients of this award. Thank you so much. When I, when I write my curriculum vitae, 
I say, I am the son of Carlos and Amelia. I am the brother of uh, Patricia, Carlos and Jorge. I am the husband of Maru, the father of Mariana and Santiago, and friend of a uh, bunch of crooks. <laughs> and, uh, and many people say, why do you write that? That's, that, that's not a curriculum video. I say, that's my real curriculum video. The other thing is just work. It's, it's our identity, and this is one of my major themes I, I, I've been trying to explore in cinema. It's formed not only by, by ourselves. My identity is constructed by the people that surround me. I do not know how I behave like a husband. I don't know how I behave like a father. It's my daughter Mariana, my daughter Santiago, who will say who I am as a father, or who I am as a husband, or who I am as a son, or a friend. And I'm obsessed with, with, with what happens when, when we lose one of the people we love. We lose our identity. When I write 21 grams, many people ask me, if it's true that we lose 21 grams or not, will we die? See, I don't, I don't know that, but I'm certain that, that we carry that weight all of our lives. And um, this moment is so painful to lose someone we love that we do not even mention its name for the rest of our lives, because even mentioning that name breaks our heart. So we are not only ourselves, we are in, 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 in a community of love, which is the people that surround us. And um, sometimes we ask ourselves, I asked myself many years ago if it was worth writing or making films. It can look something superficial. And, um, and I, I, was, I was very concerned. I, I didn't uh, grow up in a um, religious family. For my family, the real scene was not sex. I think I grew in the same family that Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> the real scene wasn't sex. The real scene is poverty. The real scene is having people dying of curable diseases and uh, the real scene is to allow that a society can leave behind people that doesn't deserve to be left behind. That's how my parents taught me to be in life. And they have this, 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 this saying that you cannot be free, you cannot be happy if there's someone who is not happy. So, I was obsessed, like, like Simone said, from the very beginning with social change. I, I wanted to, to, to try to improve society. And you question, is writing a way of improving society? Is making films a way of improving society? And I was having that doubt when uh, I have a, an infection in my heart. In the pericard, nothing serious, but I was trying to go to the Olympics, boxing, and blah blah blah. It get it gets serious. So suddenly I have I have three months in bed, thinking, without being able to, to, to move, and the doctor didn't allow me to talk more than five minutes with anyone. So I began reading. It's the only thing I can do. I have read all of my life, but those three months when I was 